All right, so we started talking about how to add text to the world. Um, let's see, I'm going to save this as version 2. I'm going to make a new version here. Um, because what if you want to... Let's compile this guy. Okay. What if... Um, you don't necessarily want Hello World. And what if you have a, a few different uh, bits of text that you want to be able to add in different places? Well, it'd be nice if we can just pass in the string that we want um, to our constructor, and then it would automatically draw the string we want, right? So I am going to actually I think it makes sense to do it in this class. So I, I'm just copying this um, uh, constructor because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two constructors. I'm going to have a, a regular constructor that's just going to draw the hello world, but then I'm also going to have a constructor called string label that draws the label that you give to the constructor. Okay, so let's see how this works. Um, and compile and let's see, I'll add a new, some new text and this time I'm going to have it with a label. Say, let's call it now. I don't have a good upside down exclamation point, but let's say we want to do it in Spanish. Now we could we can have it be in Spanish, right? Or you could have it in all different kinds of. Uh, you know, all different kinds of things that you want to want to have and stick them on the screen. So that's a nice way of um, being flexible. There's one other thing though I'd like to do to, to clean this up. It's, it's never a good idea, if you can help it, to be writing lots of the same uh, code twice. So see how this is, these, these two constructors are, are very similar. Um, and there's a a trick that Java gives you to help you avoid rewriting things like or, or yeah having having a lot of rewriting and the reason why you want to avoid that is you know what if you need to make a change later on well that means you have to make sure you're making exactly the same change here as you're making here and what we can do is instead of re redrawing all this re or rewriting all of this stuff or having it you know having it in two places and having to maintain it in two places we can use, um, there's a special keyword called this. And what that does is, that says, use the constructor for this class, but with, but the constructor that takes a string as its input, okay? This constructor takes no inputs. This constructor takes a string as its input, okay? So we can recompile this. And notice in our text world, we're, we're adding the text that has no um, inputs to it, right? But we could also um, have our constructor that gives it an input. Let's create another one. Let's call it text two. And we'll place this one at and actually this seems kind of redundant to me to because when you um, first add the object you put in a location so to add it and then set the location seems like extra work so I'm going to get rid of that and then let's see this is our X and this is our Y right 
So what if we say, I don't know, like maybe uh, 200 and make this, yeah, like 150, why not? And add text to there. As add object, this is actually it gives you the X and the Y, so that's doing your set location for you. So I'm going to close that out. And when I recompile, I get hello world, hello world. Oh, because I didn't, I didn't do the uh, what I wanted to do here, which was for this one, for the second one, I'm going to give it my. Um, my string is an input. So see we had two constructors, one with no input and one with input. So that means we can do either either one. If we don't give any input uh, to our constructor, um, then we're just going to say hello world. But if we want a different kind of a different text, we'll say hola mundo or we could do another one. Text. Uh, I don't know how to say world in Japanese, but I'll say konnichiwa. Yeah. At least. And we'll make this be, I don't know, let's say 100 and uh, 200. Yeah. Okay. So um, that gives you a little bit more flexibility with your um, with your text.